Oh look, it's the bitch that tried really hard in high school just to get good grades, but now that they're in college and actually have to choose classes for themselves, they realize they're not really passionate about anything and they're just taking class to take classes so they can graduate and figure out what they want to do with their lives. Smile! I love when old people are like, enjoy your life now, this is the best like part of your life. This is the best part? This is the best? Monday, I have nothing to do. Tuesday, I have nothing to do. Wednesday, I have nothing to do. Thursday, I have nothing to do. Friday, Saturday, nothing to do. Sunday, come, I have nothing to do. I cannot believe that I wake up to do absolutely nothing every day. What is my purpose? Okay, who else is dealing with this right now? I want to get up, get fit, get productive, work towards my goals and ambitions and career and dreams, but I don't want to do anything because nothing feels like it matters and I just want to stay in bed all day, but then I'm beating myself up for staying in bed all day and being lazy all day and not getting anything done, even though I don't want to force myself to get things done when I don't have the energy or the capability of getting stuff done. Like, I want to take care of myself, but I also want to stop feeling like a piece of trash for not getting anything done. Oh. It was capitalism. Are we supposed to know what we're doing? No? Great. Just checking. You must have some goal. My goal is not to wake up at 40 with the bitter realization that I've wasted my life in a job I hate because I was forced to decide on a career in my teens. Hey, I got the job. <laughs> yeah, now I can avoid homelessness and afford to put food in my stomach during the 30 minute meal break that I get throughout my eight hour shift which takes up about a third of my entire day, the other two thirds of which I exist in a constant state of existential dread. And then on my two days off, I get to choose between doing things that I enjoy and resting my body. Not bad, right? Yeah, I just, I feel really grateful to be making minimum wage and to be unfairly exploited for my labor, while the top 1% makes hundreds of billions of dollars during a global pandemic. I love capitalism. Off to another day of work, cause that's what life is, work. Humans have been on this earth for a while, how do we not have a better system figured out? Like, oh, you're born, go to school for 12 years. Hey, you graduate, now go to school for four more. Hey, you finished school, now work for 40 years. Oh, you retired, now enjoy your five years of freedom and pain with your cooked knees and screwed up hips, dude. And that's considered a successful life. I didn't ask for this, I had no say, I was just Boy, I, my parents just popped me into this world, dude. All these taxes and responsibility were sprung on me. I think before I was brought into this world, my spirit should have had to sign a consent form. I should have had to sign a legal contract agreeing to all of this. Because let me tell you something, I would have not. I would have not signed that. I would have looked it over and I would have said, nope, no thanks, that doesn't sound that great. But here I am. Another Monday morning. What am I doing here, man? It's like I'm in the cycle of working all week just so I can get fucked up on the weekends and not have to think about work and everything I have to do the following week. What if the cycle just goes on forever and I just go and work in a cubicle every day doing the same stuff I don't care about just so I can look forward to playing golf or mowing my lawn on the weekend? Shit, I mean, maybe I should just be grateful I have a job. I mean, there are people dealing with much bigger issues than me that I can't even begin to comprehend. But I mean, still, there's got to be more than life to this. There has to be. I need to start setting some goals for myself and follow my passion rather than sitting around letting each week pass me by. What even is my passion, though? You know? Shit. Hey, how's it going, sir? Hi, hello. Quick question. Um, is this it? Is, is this life? Is, is this... This is what we have to deal with until literal death. Um, because are you kidding me? This might be a little depressing, but I feel like a lot of you understand. So like, I don't want to die, right? But I don't want to be here. Like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, but I want to be alive. I don't want to, I just want to disappear. I just want to vanish. 
and go hang out in the universe somewhere. I don't know. I guess Peter Pan was right Growing up so wasted time So I think I'll fly away Set a course for brighter days Find the second star I'm soaring Then straight on to the moor Then I know that I'll be fine Cause I know Peter Pan was right I was crying to my boyfriend about how I'm disappointed in where I am in life, almost 27, and I'm jobless, live at my dad's, and hardly have any friends right now. And then he sent me this text. He said, yeah, I understand that, you're not, that you might not be where you thought you'd be, baby, but everyone sets unrealistic goals when they're younger. The difference between other people and you is that other people settle when they're dealt with shitty reality and you don't want to. That's what makes you special. I know it feels shitty and disappointing right now, but just the fact that you are feeling restless and want something better sets you apart from everyone else. That's exciting. You're an exciting person and you're going to do, you're going to do amazing things. This is just life testing you. <laughs> what the f***? So tell us, what's your dream job? Darling, I've told you several times before, I have no dream job, I do not dream of labor. Why are job interviews so fake for no reason? Maybe asking a shit like, what brings you to our company? Mm, money. Where do you see yourself in five years? With more money. Which one of our core values aligns? It's obviously just money.